good morning children how are you all doing well i'm doing really fine as i'm enjoying my favorite breakfast poha with tea you know something before having my breakfast i always thank god you should also be doing the same right but do you also thank plants for your food yes children actually we should thank plants for our food don't you think so because as i have already told you in your previous class that all living organisms depend on plants for their food animals eat either plants or plant eating animals without plants there would be no food and without food will there be life on earth children this is the reason that i feel all of us should thank plants before having our food we have already studied about fruits and vegetables we get from plants in our last science class today we will take a step ahead and learn about some more eatables that we get from plants but before that let us take a quick recap of whatever we have learned in this lesson till now we had learned that food is one of the basic needs of our life all living organisms depend on plants for their food directly or indirectly we eat roots stems leaves flowers fruits and seeds of various plants fruits and vegetables are very good for our health so we must include them in our daily diet as they build our immunity and protect us from many diseases so now you have understood that plants provide us with fruits and vegetables but these are not the only eatables we get from plants yes children they give us so many other things like cereals pulses spices beverages dry fruits and oils also tell me about your favorite dish mine is chickpeas that is chole and rice we have already learned in our previous lesson that chickpeas kidney beans ground seeds all these pulses are actually the seeds of their plants pulses are rich in protein and they help you grow this is the reason why your mother insists that you finish your bowl of pulses every day so that you can grow bigger and bigger how do you like your bowl of pulses with chapati or rice cereals such as rice wheat and maize are also the seeds of their plants they give us energy to work and play now you must have understood why it is necessary to have a balanced and healthy diet you know what i had for dinner last night i had my favorite chickpeas with rice they were just lip smacking <sighs> perfect blend of spices had made them perfect for me have you seen spices like chili turmeric coriander cumin pepper and cloves in your kitchen you must have definitely seen them children spices add flavor to our food without spices our food will taste bland these spices and many kinds of oils are also derived from plants only beverages like tea coffee and your favorite juice all these are obtained from plants only have you ever seen plants of almond and cashew nut well children you must be aware that these dry fruits are also taken from their plants only jaggery and sugar add sweetness to our lives and i have a sweet tooth children in absence of sugar cane plants will we have these well think about it farmers really work hard for months to sow seeds and harvest their crops then we get our food your mother also takes a lot of pains to prepare your favorite dishes we should never ever let their efforts go in vain there are many around us who are not as lucky as we are thousands and thousands of people around the world are forced to starve because they cannot afford proper food we all should be thankful to god for the food that he has provided us respect food and try not to waste it before winding up today's class let us summarize whatever we have learned today we learned today that apart from fruits and vegetables 
there are many eatables that we get from plants. Cereals like rice, wheat and maize and pulses, kidney beans and gram seeds are also obtained from plants. Spices like coriander, mustard, pepper, cumin, chili and turmeric and many kinds of oils like mustard, almond, coconut, groundnut and sunflower oils are derived from their plants. We get beverages like tea from tea leaves, coffee from coffee beans and fruit juices from fruits of certain plants. Sugar and jaggery are the products of sugarcane plant and dry fruits are also obtained from their plants only. So children, now you have seen that there are many eatables that we get from plants. This is all for your science class today. We shall meet again to continue with the chapter food we get from plants. Till then, be extremely grateful to all those who ensure that you have a full plate of food every day. Bye-bye.